this is one of the most complicated questions. And there is no easy answer. And one can say that even there is no answer at all. If, if I may to ask you, let's just avoid the language of separatists. There are no separatists. There are just Russians and Russian-led terrorists. And this is the right legal definition. Because Russia is personally engaged. Russia masterminded and orchestrated illegal annexation of Crimea. This is the fact. This is an international crime. Uh, there is a word that Russia is to pay the price. You know, usually we pay the price in the supermarket. Russia is to be punished by the international law for the illegal annexation of Crimea. And for me, this is both political and personal issue. I was Minister for Economy in Crimea. And all these rumors that there were entirely pro-Russian sentiments in Crimea, that's not true. So what we have on the table, the only deal which is still viable is so-called Minsk deal. Is it fine the time to elaborate on this? Because you raised the hand. If you want to get the answer on what's going to happen in future in terms of uh, Russian-led invasion. Uh, we do understand that Russia is not willing to implement the Minsk deal. But the policy of the president of Ukraine and of the Ukrainian government is as follows. We are whiter than white in implementing Minsk. What the president promised, we did. The president promised to sign an executive order, a ceasefire order, he did it. We passed an amnesty bill, he signed it. We passed the bill on the special status of Donetsk and Lugansk, it is enacted. Uh, we promised to start constitutional amendments, and the president is to address the House tomorrow with his constitutional amendments, which are in line with the Minsk deal. And I do understand that what Russia wants, <sighs> Russian play is to blame Ukraine for not implementing the deal and saying, look, that's Ukraine who failed. That's the reason why we drop off this deal. No chances to no avail. We will be the last one who is to say that Minsk is dead. No. There are fingerprints of President Putin on the Minsk deal. So he is obliged to implement the deal. And uh, uh, Madame Merkel, Chancellor Merkel and President Hollande, they contributed a lot of their political capital into this deal. They did a lot to make this deal happen. And we are to stay united and to act in concert in, in, to make Russia to implement and fulfill the deal. What is the aim of Putin? Definitely not to make Ukraine happy. His aim is to resume something that resembles Soviet Union. His aim is to take over Ukraine. His aim is to dismantle Ukraine as a nation, as a, as a country. What's happening in Ukraine is not just related to us. This is the global challenge. It relates to everyone sitting in this room. Russia is the threat to global stability and security. This is not the way how P5 member can act. They have to change their policy, or we have to change their policy, and to, to, to get one united, strong policy towards Russia. The only language Putin understands is strength. So let's be strong. 